Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, Ray. How are you? Person, how's everything? Hi, Person? Hi, nice. Hi, teacher. Nice to, oh, nice. nice to see you guys. <laughs> what happened to you yesterday? <laughs> what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> Okay, uh, so well, it's nice to see you guys. Uh, thank you so much for being connected on time. Um, well, it's Friday. Harrison, I know you are at work. And Narciso, how is Narciso? I don't see you, Narciso. And, and Ray, how's the experience in the state? How's your I'm experience? Here, hey, Narciso. Here, nice. And how is your experience? I'm ready. <laughs> Nice, nice to hear that. Great. And Cristina? Cristina? Well, present. Ray, present. <laughs> Come on, I'm not, not checking the attendance yet, but it's okay. So let's the see. Teacher, the teacher wanted to go dancing yesterday. Yeah, yeah, and that was the perfect excuse. Yes. <laughs> no, you have no idea how frustrated I was. I was very frustrated. Believe me, I was so frustrated yesterday, but you know, things sometimes we cannot control them. So, but it's nice to have you here connected. Um, we're going to wait for a couple of minutes more so we can get started. Okay, Elsie, how's everything, Elsie? Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? How are you doing? Um, <laughs> how are, how are, cuando escuche que digo, how are you doing? Es como decir, uh, how are you? The same thing. Like, te voy a mandar las posibles saludos. Exactly. Oh. If I say, how are you doing? How are you doing? How is it? How let me see how is it going? And these two ones are the same, like how are you? Mm -hmm. The same. So you can answer with any possible options like everything okay, doing good, everything under control. I don't know, relax. Or maybe like Narciso, easy. <laughs> How are you, Narciso? Easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Easy. Easy, easy. Everything is easy. Okay. Well, guys, um, yesterday, I mean, I was frustrated, but at the end, you know, things happened <laughs> for a reason. And, you know, it happened this time. So basically, we're going to start today with our class. Um, it's already time. And let me go ahead and start checking the attendance. Welcome, uh, Maria Julia. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome, Gabriela. Even though I don't see you, but I know you are there. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Um, I can say, um, once again, I, I want to apologize for yesterday's inconvenience, but, you know, Things like this might happen, we cannot control. So, um, so let's see, let me start checking the attendance. Number one, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present teacher, ahora sí. Hoy sí, verdad. <laughs> okay, number three, Daniel, Daniel. Present teacher. Present. Thank you so much. For Elsie. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Bye, Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Six, Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let me see. Now everybody's connected. Harrison is here. Next one, Jose Miguel. Wow, not connected. Ruben, not connected. JC, not connected. Linda, not connected. <clears throat> Maria Idalia, 
No connected. Wow. <laughs> Maria Julia. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Marlene Espinosa. No connected. Okay, Marvin. Norma Carolina. Norma. No connected. Okay, Rafa. No connected. <laughs> Raquel Judith. No connected. Ray. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Ray. Xiomara. No connected. Judy. Teacher, Judy dijo de que no sé qué problema había tenido con el router y al parecer con también la energía eléctrica y que no se iba a poder conectar. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, it happens, you know. Thanks so much for letting me know about this inconvenience, okay? Well, uh, thank you so much, guys, once again. Let me get started with today's uh, topic, okay? And we are going to basically start unit number um, four, okay? Yesterday, I was kind of like making a review about some verbs in the past, and really hope you guys uh, keep studying that part because it's so essential. It's, it's so important that you guys, you know, dedicate some time to this learning. Okay, so let me get started with the first, um, one second, please. Okay. Let me share the right, okay. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now I think you guys can see my screen, right? And this is uh, the topic for today, accounting, okay? Do I have accountants in this class? No? No accountants? Do I have accountants in this class? People who maybe work on this area, accounting? I work it. Oh, you work in, oh, you, in that area. You worked. <laughs> oh, you worked yes, yes. in it. Oh. Um, uh, let me see, five, ten, five, eight years ago. <laughs> okay, okay. So that tells me that you're going to help us a lot on this unit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I will see. I will see. <laughs> okay, yeah. So let's start brainstorming. Okay. Uh, first, first of all, guys, what is a statement? What's that? How can you define a financial statement? Let's see. Any any idea that you can think about about a financial statement? What is it? I I think the financial statement is like uh, X race of the company. Okay. You you see um, you see in the financial statement who is uh, what is the pro properties of the company mm -hmm. how how say como se dice lo que se debe what the company owes let me send what the deliver mm -hmm. the company mm -hmm. owes mm -hmm. This is I I I I gonna I I, I think. Uh, okay, I see. Are you know, Daniel? And what about if you have um? Because in my opinion, that's why I wanted to ask you. In my opinion, if you receive a statement from your credit card, is it a financial statement too? Mm, this is another fine. It's another type of financial. Financial oh, statement, okay. because okay. because the financial in the credit card uh, financial statement, you see the charge or, or your your wife and your debit and credit. The debit is your when you pay the 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 the, the credit card and credit where you buy. By the credit, uh, okay. It's, it's, it's totally different. It's totally different. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting to hear <laughs> an opinion from somebody who knows. <laughs> because I didn't know, I didn't know any, any difference between a uh, financial statement. I understand what it means, but technically, you know, that's why there are people in that area who knows, you know, specifically. I didn't know there are types of financial statement, for example. Well, thank you so much for your ideas. Is there anybody else who would like to add something to this topic, guys? <laughs> What is a financial statement? In your own words, what do you think? Or what is only statement? Statement? Today, we're going to talk about that. So if you have any idea, if you want to um, add something about statements, guys, it'll be great. Don't be afraid to participate, please. What is a statement for you? Mm. No, no. Declaraciones de, oh. de renta, IVA. Okay, now we have that, okay. So look at here what it says, financial statements. And this has to do with, with Daniel's opinion because now that Daniel explains this, and now it makes sense for me <laughs> because as you can see here, we have four type of uh, financial statements, okay? And then what is cash, guys? What is cash? Only cash, what is it? Cash in Spanish is? Money. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> when you say, no tengo cash, it means that you don't have what? Money, but what? Physically, right? Physically money, like money you can, it's not like, um, what? Uh, what do you call this? I mean, you have it in your hands, cash, like in effectivo, right? That's cash. And then, but if it's on your credit or debit card or on your bank account, so that's something different, right? Um, so we have cash flow, we have income statements, equity statement, and balance sheet. Now, uh, what are those possible definitions? Let's try to infer. Tratemos de inferir which one goes with which one. Cuál va con cuál, okay? Okay, this is very technical, like English, but it's good to know it, okay? Because you never know, like in your companies, you might be assigned on the accounting department all of a sudden. So let's try to guess and see which letter goes here, which letter goes here and so on, right? But this is just an, just an example. So please, let's take one or two minutes or maybe you already did it. Take some time. Analyze and then give me your answers, please. Let's see, we are 11 now. Oh, JC is there. How's it going, JC? Good evening, teacher. How, how's everything? Everything okay? Yes, teacher. I, I, I have a problem with the internet in this moment, but I'm here. Nice, nice. I see. Do you listen? But, <laughs> it isn't easy like, like me yesterday. I was so frustrated yesterday. But you know, you know, and it keeps raining. They have declared a, like orange alert, I think. I think how, that's how you say it. And national, yeah. nationwide here in Salvador. Well, let's see, number one. Who has number one reports on changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period? Hmm, what is it? Any idea? Reports, uh-huh. I think, uh -huh. think. C. Letter C, equity C. statement. Hmm. Do you guys agree with uh, Cristina? Sure. sure. Uh, yes. I, I uh, necesito que me traduzca dos palabras. Yeah, tell me. Retaining what? earnings. Re retained earnings, okay? Earnings, mm -hmm. retain <laughs> is like, like in Spanish, similar word, like retenido, like holding, holding there. 
withholding, like la renta, la, cuando se la retiene. But then earnings means, earning means ganancias, o lo que se, what you get from money, like the money you get. Okay, earning means lo que se gana. Ok, entonces de acuerdo a eso yo diría que es letter B. Hmm, interesting. Letter D, we have a different opinion. Okay. Uh, letter D, how do you be careful with this word? Y no tenga miedo de decir shit. Okay. Shit. No le vaya a poner el sonido de E que va a sonar a otra cosa. Okay. <laughs> Diga shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. Bueno. Uh, well, Daniel. Daniel has a different opinion, okay? Uh, the balance sheet, okay. He says his letter D, Number reports. One, teacher. Uh -huh. Number one, uh, letter C. Narciso says letter C, so we have two against one. No, the... no, teacher, teacher, I, I say letter B. Number two, letter B. L Number two? No, 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 the number one is B, income statement. Income statement. Oh, yes. okay. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, let's mm -hmm. finish. Let's finish talking about uh, talking about one, please. Number one, number one, only number one. I have heard the escuchado Narciso and Cristina saying letter C. Daniel says letter D, right? D as in doctor. Am I am I right? No, 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 no. B is a bravo. Oh, bravo. Okay, bravo yes. for letter for number one. Income yes. statement. Yes. Hmm. And what about the other ones? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? For me, teacher, letter C, number one. Letter C, we have another three against Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, anybody else? No, no, no. You, you have the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I want you to think about it. Look at, Daniel, let me help you with something. You said letter B, income statement, income statement, income statement, yes. right? Can you read what it says? Can you read number four, Daniel? Number Sa four, summarize of company's income, expense, and profit over a period of time. Okay. Company that income, expense, and profit. Um, hmm. Profit says an answer, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that, yeah, it's correct. Letter B. Letter B is, is uh, number four is letter B. Income and state. <laughs> okay, so I letter... Understand. I, I understand. Okay, oh. okay. Okay, so... I, I'm, I'm going to get another 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 partner let her see <laughs> <laughs> okay good so guys le, number one number one i agree with uh the ones who said letter c that is correct i send it to the chat letter c what about number two what is number two look what it says Re reports on a company assets liabilities and um, owner's quality at a given point of point in time. Hmm. Reports on a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. So what's that? What do you have? Number two is letter D. Christina says letter D. What do you think, guys? Christina. Number, number two, number two, letter D. Letter D, two, again. What me about too. the J C three? Hmm. Yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm agree, letter oh. D. Okay, we have more opinion this time. And that is correct. I sent it to the chat. I like it. Pero me gustaría que todos den su opinión. Vamos bien ahorita. What about next one? Creo que la última dos is kind of like, uh, what about number three? What's number three? Letter E. Number letter three, A. letter A. A. Okay. A. And, and, coming, and now coming of cash. Cash, okay, yes, yeah, that's the key, okay. right? And balance mm -hmm. sheet is letter? Okay. Letter B. Letter, okay. 
Number four is letter. Mm. Okay, that was mm. that was mm. missing, right? Exactly. So that's that's mm -hmm. the way it is. That's the way it is, guys. I sent you the answer on the chat. Les acabo de compartir la respuesta en el chat. That's what it is. You might be saying, wow, many words that are new for me. Okay, maybe, but then uh, let's start reviewing, let's start analyzing, let's start translating if necessary. Empecemos a analizar, traducir si es necesario para las palabras nuevas, okay? Aquí tenemos varias, por ejemplo, la que decía Daniel, earnings, uh, when you make money, you earn money, earning money, earned, and then uh, owners, it's like the and what about this one and assets and liabilities? And estos son términos very uh, common during, in, in accounting. During. Uh huh. What's which which one? During. During. Which one did you say? I'm sorry. Narciso, which one did you say? During. Uh, during. during. Oh, during. during. Yeah, during. during. During, yes, durante, during, during. during. Uh -huh. What else? Income, in operating, investing, finances, activity, summarizes incomes. Okay, any any pronunciation or any meaning on this part, guys? Pronunciation or meaning about this? Pronunciation, meanings. We have here, oh. tenemos cuatro tipos de eh, declaraciones, uh, financial declaration, financial statement, como dijo Daniel. Four, tenemos el cash flow, income statement, equity statement, and balance sheet. Okay, those are the four we have here. Okay, me gustaría pedir voluntarios. I would like to ask volunteers to read para que lean, solo para chequear pronunciación. A ver quién le gustaría tratar. Levante la mano. Raise your hand. Only one. Come on. <laughs> Just one. Solo trate de leer. Please try to read it. Anybody, anybody? Elsie, would you like to try, Elsie? Le gustaría tratar. Just try. Try. Don't worry about it, okay? Go ahead and let it flow. Make mistakes. It's okay. Uh, reports on the change in retained earnings of a company during the staten period. Reports a company, company uh, assets, 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 assets. Uh -huh. assets. Yeah. Esa palabra liabilities. 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 Uh -huh. And owners' quality at a given point in time report on a company incoming and outcoming of cash it's operating investing investing and financing activities some to manifest no S summarizes summarizes summarize Summarizes. Summarizes. Uh -huh. Summarizes company income, expenses, and profits over, over a period of time. You see? Exactly. Thank you so much. I wanted to say, uh, well, I wanted to ask you some questions here. How do you say companies, assets, and liabilities? What is this? What is a liability and what is an asset? Pasivos. Pasivos. Propietarios. Ajá, decimos activos y 
Activos, pasivos. Exacto, activos y pasivos. Guys, uh, let me tell you, have you read, algún, I am leído, have you read uh, Poor Dad, Rich Dad? En algún momento. Mi papá rico y el papá pobre. ¿No? Yes. Vaya, ahí, si lo ha leído en español, léalo en inglés. <laughs> I read What? it in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, si alguien lo quiere, se lo puedo mandar en PDF. Ok. A mí, a mí sí. Yeah, eh, si ya lo leyó, la verdad. En español, sí. Sí. Bien <laughs> interesante. It's interesting. Ahí habla de esos dos términos, asset and liability. Ahí explica por qué somos pobres los más pobres y los ricos los más ricos. So, you know, it's, interest, it's an interesting book. Uh, well, that's a, that's a parenthesis. If you want the book, I can give it to you. Yo lo he leído ahí. Envíalo, envíalo a group of pictures. I can do it. I can do it. Thank, thank yeah, I, I can do it. Uh, let me see. Give me a second. Um, no sé cómo lo vayan a ver sumando, pero <laughs> no, se lo voy a mandar en digital quien me lo pida, ok. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Me, me too. Ok, yeah, I will, I will send it. And yeah, I know it's discipline to read it because it is 270 pages, son 270 páginas, but, you know, it's okay to read it. Just go ahead, like maybe three or two pages at a time. Yeah. Quizás lo sientan challenging por el vocabulario, pero miren, the more you challenge yourself, the better it is. Entre más se reta, mejor. ¿verdad? Saca vocabulario, no le entendí nada lo que leí, voy de regreso hasta que lo entienda. You know, that's good because you expand, you enhance. Miren esta palabra, you enhance. La voy a compartir porque es muy útil. Enhance your vocabulary. Amplia. Okay mejora su vocabulario, okay? Well, that's uh, basically what I wanted to say. Uh, thank you so much for reading, guys, and for your participation on this reading. Let's move on. Miren, aquí tenemos una idea bien interesante. Quiero que las leamos. Y me discutan y que me den sus opiniones, okay? Mm. Cualquier idea que tenga, say it, dígala, okay? Tenemos these this, uh, ideas. Number one. Yo la leo y usted me escucha, luego usted la va a decir, ¿ok? It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Hmm, what is it? What's your opinion? ¿Ok? Let me say once again. It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Agree, disagree. What's your opinion? I'll give if, you one if, minute. Uh -huh, go ahead. If, if the project, project of the company think this is go broken. Okay. Okay. Because, because, because know about incomes and outcomes is very important. Is the, I'll say, is the most important of the company. Nice, nice opinion. <laughs> so, so we have if the owner, how do you say dueño, propietario? We we'll say owner, 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 owner. 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 If, the, if, the if the owner, the, if the owner, uh -huh, uh, el, el, of the company, of the company. La, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Continue, Daniel. If the owner, if the owner of the company think like. Like this is go broken. Okay, that's bankruptcy, right? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, I see. That's one opinion. And I think I think in the personal, I'll say in the in in the personal in the personal financial. Como 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 pudiera decir in in in. in o sea, lo que quiero decir es que en, en, en cuestión personal eso debe de ser importante también. En, 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 términos, en, en términos personales. No términos personales, no que, ¿cómo decir? En el, en el día, en, el, en lo que uno vive, en el day to day. Ok, I like I, that I, day to day. I, 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 I need to know how, uh, how much money, cuánto gano en el día y cuánto gasto. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. This is very important in, in the personal, in the personal uh, opinion. Okay, le voy a decir varias ideas. Eh, primero, para decir personalmente, es personal, pero yo creo que usted está hablando de tener un, como un budget, porque habla de cuánto gano y cuánto gasto. That is like what we know as budgets. Mire, budget is un presupuesto. To exactly. track, mire, to track, to track like incomes and no outcomes. Income. Exactly. Mire, to track, para rastrear, para tener like uh, like yes, uh, exactly. money turn, money turn, incomes and outcomes. Mm. Mm -hmm. in yes. The, in, the, in, the, in the incomes, deben ser mayores a las outcomes. Okay, they, they, they should be bigger than the, okay. I like it. You know what, Daniel? This is what happened to us. Sometimes the more we make, the more we spend. And the more money you make, the more you spend. This, and, is, this is the most, the, the, the most common error with with like a younger people uh, think. Exacto, exactamente. Oh. Quiero, quiero, aquí todos tenemos, eh, pues, bills to pay, I think. Todos tenemos responsibilities, ya todos estamos, somos adults. Tenemos ahí que sea pagando el carro, no sé si ahí en la Procu, pero algo, 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 algo. Que sea, aunque sea una factura de la casa del internet para estar conectado, su celular tiene. Quiero escucharles a todos. Okay, I want to hear your voice. Is it important to have a budget, like personal budget? What do you think? Quiero que me compartan eso. Is it important to have a personal budget? Do you have one? Yes, uh -huh. teacher. Tell in me why. Case, in my case, it's important to pay the house. Okay, why? Uh, how, do, how do you say? Me cae mora. <laughs> yeah, how do you say mora? So, el mora is late fees. Late fees, late. because... Uh, puede decir, because I don't, I don't want to pay late fees. Late fees es cargos tardíos, son moras. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, pay the bills. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Look at the question on the, on the chat. Cristina already shared that she doesn't want to pay late fees. No late fees. Okay, so it's important to pay on time, right? Do not exceed the time, okay? The due date. ¿Saben qué es un due date, guys? Vamos a agregar eso, due date. Un due date. Si, posemos un, si tenemos un due date. Uh, it's a limit. Mm. Oh, the, the last case, then mm -hmm. I how to mm. pay. Exactly. Si hablamos de payment, el due date es el último día que no pagaría mora. Ese es el due date. Podemos decir payment due date para hacerlo más completo. Payment due date. Ahí les mandé la pregunta, porfa, a todos los que no han respondido, quiero que se la hagan y me, y me den su opinión. Ok, la pregunta que les acabo de formular es, uh, is it important to have a personal budget? Do you have one? O no, o no se preocupen porque demasiado ganan. <laughs> Tienen el montón de pisto. Okay. In, in, my case, in my case, I have a budget. Okay. And, I, and I go checking uh, every outcome. Okay. If, if, if they pay this, the boss, pay this, the food, pay this, um, I don't know, soda, uh, country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the this is the this is the form of uh, com, es el, es el, es forma de, de, this com, is the de, way. De llevar a, this is the way of complete and and be and, and be, be honestly with my with 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 myself. Ser honesto consigo mismo para cumplir ese 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 budget. Mm -hmm. Nice, this self-discipline, right? Self-autodiscipline. Yes, okay. 
Okay, other, other ideas. Hay 15 de ustedes, guys. Come on, quiero escuchar more, more opinions. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. It's important. Um, I always make my butter because if I don't spend more than a earning and when I release it, I have finished uh, with my saving. Okay, you see, when you realize, where's my money? Where's my savings? They're gone. <laughs> yeah, if you, don't, if you don't track your expenses, all of a sudden, de repente, where's my money? Where, where it goes? Donde se fue? Okay, yes. Miren mi, mi segunda pregunta. Do you save for a rainy day? When I, when I digo rainy day, no me, no me refiero que está lloviendo. Rainy days son los días de emergencia, okay? Aquí es rainy days, like emergencies. Do you save money for a rainy day? Do you have something ahí, ahí, por ahí? ahí just in case. No estoy hablando de credit cards, que ahí la tenemos para la emergency. I'm talking about your money. Do you do that? Is it important? Speak to me, in please. My, Speak to me in English. Yes, go ahead. In in my case, yes, teacher. I have, I have a, a, a how say, I have say money. Nice, nice, Daniel. That's the attitude. Yeah, I try to do the same. I try to do the same. You never know. All of a sudden, boom, the, the cars, you know, breaks down. If you don't have something extra, then you are all screwed up. Okay. I, I, I have a, an, account, an account in Banco Agricola, Banco Agricola and mm -hmm. they every every month retain, me retain, mm -hmm. okay, retain, retain, yeah, they get, they uh, retain, uh -huh. retain, um, how say, fifteen dollars, mm -hmm. fifteen dollars, and the, mm -hmm. the, and the, and the, the in the December 15, boom. They, boom. Yes, this is this is this is your your same money all the year. Oh, and that is six hundred dollars. Yeah, it, it's a it's a one one month salary. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Hey, and that yeah. is a good strategy. That is a good technique. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It, I, I, I I I I have. Three years. I have three years doing this. Mm -hmm. Doing this, yes. Mm -hmm. I have three years doing this. Ah, he's, interesting. He's very, he's very grateful. Yes, he's very grateful. I imagine. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Quería enseñarles una frase. Ahí la voy a mandar ahorita. Este, es to be screwed up. No es tan, no es tan info, Es un poquito informal. Esta es la peor, va. Esta es la mala palabra también. Cuando no tienen dinero y no, y no, no hay nada, va. Ni de dónde conseguir. Entonces, es, de, se puede decir, I am broke, va. Como que estoy, I'm broke. No tengo pisto, pero. Wow. Uh, ajá, pero si digo, I'm screwed, I'm screwed up. It significa que estoy, uh -huh. I look it up, usted investiga, pero esa es la mala palabra también cuando, <risa> cuando no haya que hacer ya, solo me recuerdo un compañero de la universidad que decía muchas palabras, pero bueno, hay, hay maneras de expresarse a veces, um, ok, well, going back, going back, ¿alguien más quisiera compartir acerca del statement número uno? Going back to the topic, ajá. Uh -huh. In my case, it's necessary uh, I have save, save money for anything emergency. For emergencies, yeah, yeah. Exactly, of course. <laughs> what else? For emergencies, you have to have something there, right? Yeah, any other opinion? Vaya, si no hay opinions, vamos a ver el otro statement, number two. Thank you, okay, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, in my case, um, it's necessary because, for example, in the pandemic, uh, I don't work. 
and and then this this morning and I I help me about survival for two three months. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Imagine if JC didn't have money, then it would have been a problem. But because you had saved, but the yes, saved for the pandemic, you know, boom, this is exactly the time in which you need the money. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about number two. Sigamos discutiendo, okay? Pero quiero que todos participen, no tengan miedo a equivocarse. La verdad que su opinión es muy importante. Vamos a ver, alguien que lea la número dos, a los que no han participado. Por favor. Don't be afraid. Hey, last year, the company's owner fired many people. The one more carrier saw action to save the company. Agree, disagree. Is it okay, not okay? And sometimes it's necessary. For, for example, to, to this moment with the pandemic. And many, many, many companies have to uh, take uh, these decisions, hard decision, but uh, the, this is the, this is the, uh, the way to the, to the, to the progress, to the uh, give, uh, that to be alive, for example, uh, for no broken. I like your your position. I like your posture because you said I like this. I know you're a, you're a human like person because you said uh, it's hard. It's hard to say okay, you are dismissed or you are fired. Uh -huh. It's hard, but then sometimes it's the best a company can do, right? Whenever incomes are not as much as they would like to. Yes, I agree with your opinion, Harrison. In, in any in any case, in any case, no, no, always. Okay, nice. In, I see. In, in in my opinion, teacher, I think this is the how say Harrison case. It's necessary, but I think it's the last, it's most the last option. I think it's um, another option to to save the company, but uh, fire people, I think is the last option why, why, why don't. Ok, thank you. Estaba digitando. Uh, les mandé dos expresiones. Una para decir, como dijo Gerson, like Gerson said. Like Gerson like said. said. Y para okay. decir, la, como la última de última, the last It's resource. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. okay. It, it is the last resource. Como que es ya el último cartucho, como decimos en, 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 en Spanish, right? To, y, to save the company. <laughs> uh, to save the company, yes. Because sometimes when, when companies fire people, they have to give them money, right? Because it's legal. I don't know how they call it, but there's a name for that. And then, uh, and besides that, además de eso, when they have to uh, hire new people, they have to train people. Es un gran investment también. Una gran inversión, train people again. ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. like when, exactly. when somebody exactly. is new in the company, you have to teach them how to do things. And that takes money from the company, okay? That's why I like your opinions. Yep. I like your opinions, okay? When I study industrial engineering, we study about this and you just reminded me about this. Yes, it's, it's very crucial. Decisions to be made are essential, okay? Bueno, ¿alguien más quiere compartir? Bien que les iba a compartir que el, el opuesto de fire, como tenemos ahí, el opuesto de fire es... Um, Hire, uno es despedir, otro es contratar. Fire, en la neck, ¿verdad? In the neck, como dicen. Y luego, hire es contratar. Hire, fire, hire. Ok. 
And what else? Más you are it? fire. <laughs> Ay, Dios. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only remember the, 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 pro, the TV program starring by the, the last president, Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You are fire. <laughs> you are fire. Ay, Dios. You are fire. <laughs> you are fire. Ahí sí, ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> es de empezar a buscar ahí. Where? <laughs> Pero qué bonito se siente cuando yes. le dicen You are hired, welcome to the company Oh yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. That, that feels good, that feels really good Cuando le dicen, ok, you made it You are hired, welcome And then that's awesome, right? Bueno, ¿alguien más quiere compartir? De la... Teacher, uh -huh. and to many companies ter Terminate their contract for a few months while they solve the problems and and then and then hire 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 him hire him again hire uh, them mm -hmm. hire them or hire contract hire 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 him hire again, them correct. again. Mm -hmm. mm, that's another technique right for a couple of months and then oh that's good that's good because people who were already working, they know how to do the job. So it's better to rehire them than, you know, getting new personal. Yes, okay. Thank you, Harrison, for your opinion. That's really good. How about number three? Any volunteer to read and give us um, your opinion? Any, anybody? Me teacher. Okay, thank you so much. It is mandatory for everybody to check on his her profit to see how much how much can be invested or spent. Hmm, interesting. What do you think? I agree. Okay, you agree. And what about the other ones? What do you guys think? Think it seems like mandatory? It's mandatory, like obligation, okay? For everybody to check on his profits. For what? To see how much you can invest and how much you can spend. Hmm, we have many people connected, but you don't want to say anything. Come on. So what do you think about this statement? Don't hide. For no se esconda. For, for the same way I, I spent. <laughs> you spent I'll like. Give for, I'll, yeah. I'll give for, for my mother, for my wife, for my son, for my uncle, for my brother. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, give for the whole family. <laughs> and you get but you get Christmas bonus like Nando, right? Christmas bonus and boom, yeah, you get yeah, it, you, yeah. you let let it go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Invest. <laughs> you need to invest money. Let's <laughs> let's invest. <laughs> That's why rich get richer and poor get poorer. You understand yeah. that? <laughs> los ricos se hacen más ricos, los pobres nos hacemos más pobres, dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, entonces read the poor that rich that, okay? Read that, I know you're gonna like it. Al principio que no le puede ser un poco interesante, pero read it, read it, I, I recommend it, okay? Uh, I've done that, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, um, well, welcome guys, a los que se han unido uh, posteriormente, welcome. Um, thank you so much for connecting. Um, so let's move on, let's move on. Let's see. Wow, we have a new structure, how to use so and how to use such. Okay, what do you know about this? What do you know about so? What do you know about such? Anything that you want to share based on these examples we have on the screen? Take a look at the structure and let's talk about this. How can you use it? What does it mean? 
Any opinion? Any opinion? Let's talk about so. Hablemos del so. Okay. Look at the examples. So, so has multiple uses or usages. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me. Is um, but for point out thing to point out things. Okay. Yes. Yes. What else? We, so we have first idea is to point out things. Okay. What else do you think, guys? Is there any difference between so and such or are they similar? Are similar teacher. We have one opinion, they're but, similar. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but so, but both means the same. Mm -hmm. Such, so, but I don't know what is the difference, but mm -hmm. but, but it's the, the same word mm -hmm. tal. Okay. Oh, oh, tan, oh, tan, tan. Creo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree with you. They are similar in meaning, but they are different in structure. Okay. They are similar in meaning, son igual en significado, but the structure changes a little bit. La estructura un poquito, okay? Let's see the examples. It is so necessary for the company. So necessary. So important. So well made. So imaginative. Look at the next one. Look at the one we have next to it. Is such a creative program such a significant investment such a useful tool such a big success what's the difference here so that's the question tratemos de distinguish to differentiate this tratemos de distinguir de diferenciar you know what's the structure here that's the point Ok, ¿qué ven en común o qué ven de diferente, guys, con su conocimiento? What do you think? Mm, so, we use the base, the base form of the verb. Ok, necessary is important, well, and imaginative. ¿Qué serán esos, guys? ¿Qué serán? What is, what was that? Mm -hmm. What do you I think? Adjectives. Adjectives. Adjectives, ok, great. Ya Adjectives. notamos el primero, excelente. Entonces el so lo estamos usando directly before an adjective. Y miren, ya después del adjective no tenemos más que complemento. Veamos el such. Such, ¿qué hay con el such? ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será esto? ¿Qué será program? ¿Qué será investment? ¿Qué será tú? ¿Qué será success? ¿Qué son esos? ¿Serán verbs? ¿Adjectives? Adjective. ¿Serán Adjective. noun? noun? Sustantivo. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Qué dijo Narciso? ¿Qué significa? ¿O se dijo la respuesta? Adjective eh, en sustantivo. Adjective and nouns. Ok, tenemos a... Lo tenemos adjective and nouns. Muy bien, ah. Narciso. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. That's what it is. El such siempre va a requerir una noun clause. Se conoce como noun clause porque lleva un nombre, un sustantivo, como es Narciso. Lo, lo requiere por la, la estructura, la naturaleza misma. Eso se dice, por ejemplo, si es singular, it is such a great or creative program. Pero si es plural, sería is such creative, uh, it is, or they are, porque sería plural, they are such creative programs. So basically the structure is adjective and now. So una gran persona, so una persona calidad, you're such a nice person. Miren, 
You're such a nice person. ¿Sí? Se le puede decir, you're so nice. Ahí no le tengo que poner eh, person, porque el son no me, lo, no me lo demanda. En cambio, such sí lo requiere, porque va, requiere la construcción de un sustantivo. Es por eso que requiere un, un noun clause, que se conocen así como que lleva un nombre, un sustantivo, lo que dijo Narciso. Leamos esos ejemplos y luego nos quedamos creando un par para más o menos ir, ir a digesting mm. this. Veamos, leamos lo del so primero. Alguien que me gustaría leerlo. Anybody who would like to read so? All these examples. Only reading, please. Only Thank reading. You, Thank you so much. It is good to know the cash flow. They, they are so important. Oh, okay. Narciso ya nos está ayudando a hacer los ejemplos. Wow, that's cool. Let's read the examples, Narciso. Veamos los ejemplos, solo leamos los, los ejemplos del so, porque no hemos visto la pronunciación. Ah, okay. It's, ah, it is so. Ah, bueno. Okay. It is ah. so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the report. Mm -hmm. The project was so well made. Our ideas, ideas were so imaginative. Imaginative. Thank you so much. What about such? Veamos alguien que nos quiera ayudar. Anybody who would like to help us with such? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Go ahead. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was sure a big success. Exactly, exactly. Thank you so much for your reading, guys. Uh, well, now that we have these examples, do you have any question about the structures we just read? Alguna pregunta de lo que acabamos de leer? Pronunciation or meaning? Don't be afraid. Please ask. Ask your questions. Let's try to solve this. Entonces, tratemos de solventar these six sentences. Vamos a usar so o vamos a usar such. Veamos si logramos identificar cuál va en esos ejemplos. Les doy unos tres, cuatro minutos. Please. If you finish, please let me know, guys. Finish. Finish, teacher. Ah, that was really quick. Thank you so much. Okay, let's take one more minute. Para lo que faltan.
okay, Norma, you finished too, okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need more time. Do you need more time to finish it? Need more time? Elsie, did you finish, Elsie? Yes? Okay, great. Christina, Linda, Marvin, Rafa. Rafa's there. Hello, Rafa. In your corner? Are you in your corner? <laughs> <laughs> hola, hola. Yes, always in my corner. Always. <laughs> I, I see I see Rafa working pretty soon in a, in a nice place. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> yeah. More or less, more or less. Yeah. So well, thank you so much, guys, for finishing your um, assignment. I mean, on these uh, questions, or I think they're just sentences. Let me go ahead and check the attendance, okay? Because it's already nine. Okay, you see time really flies sometimes, you know. Okay, let me go ahead and check the attendance. Let's see, number one, Narciso. Narciso, yes, thank you yes, so much. Sir. Christina. Christina. Thank you, Christina. Uh, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Elsie. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela. Herson. Present. Thank you, Herson. Jose Miguel. Jose Rubén. JC. Present. Thank you. Tinda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Idalia. Maria Julia. Present. Thank you. Marlene. No, okay. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Rafa. Me you, teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Raquel. Present teacher. Oh, Raquel is here. Thank you so much. Let's see. Raquel. Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. So, Ken is here. Ray is here. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. And Judy, not here, connected. All right. So, thank you so much, guys, once again for um, your attendance. Let's go ahead and check these um, sentences. I know, well, let's compare the answers with a partner, okay, to see if you have the same, the same uh, answers, okay? Uh, so exactly what it says here, you guys are going to compare. Make sure to check on meaning and pronunciation if necessary, okay? So compare, maybe you will need just like a few minutes, but it's okay to do this. So let's go ahead and compare the answer. Comparemos nuestra, nuestra respuesta con un compañero o dos compañeros y luego vamos a compartir con toda la clase, okay? So I give you uh, maybe some time. I will be uh, checking on. Here we go.
Yes. Yes. The was such a significant invention. Así lo tengo yo. Okay, perfect. Number six. Number six. Mm -hmm. Checking your financial statement was so difficult before. And repeat, please. Internet access in so inconvenient. Inconvenient. Mm -hmm. So. So. Yo le puse sosh. Sí, verdad. Ajá. La cuatro. Sosh. Sosh. Inconvenient. Dice. No sé si es mi inter o el suyo, Cristina. Yo creo que es el suyo porque yo Permítame. también no estoy algo cortado a usted. Ahorita sí tengo todas las barritas normales. Vaya, vaya. Entonces, la tres es Wireless Inter. Difícil, difícil es adjetivo, creo yo, difficult, difficult, pero sí, en la, en la quinta, sí, sí, ya, ya tengo duda, no, no estoy segura si es así, porque, ajá, yo también tengo duda, ajá, 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 no sé, esa palabra es un adjetivo, su, significa, significa, Será un adjetivo. Significa. La computadora. Yo digo que si es adjetivo. Vamos a dejar así como usted la tiene entonces. En duda. Ajá, es que yo tengo esa duda. Y la última me dice sí, que quedó sí. solo. Hi Norma, do you have problems with your connectivity? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine. Um, I think you didn't have time to share with your partners, right? So no problem, we're gonna listen to their opinions and then uh, you can also share, okay? But whatever you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So yes, no problem, no problem. Narciso's there, he's back, <laughs> okay. I'm back, teacher. 
I'll be back. Nah, nah, nice. I'm back. Guess who's <laughs> back? ¿Qué pasó, Terminator? Right. Like, this, there's a song from Eminem that says, Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. ¿Le adivina quién regresó? ¿Quién regresó? Ah. This is back. Shade is back. Tell a friend. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a good one. It's yeah. I like the flow. You know the yeah. Where the, the where the where the music where the music star? It's a lot of people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Move the hell. It's very very. Yeah, catchy. Se le queda ahí en la, en la, in the head, right? You can't get head. it out of your hand. Yeah, your, your, your head. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you so much. Yes, that's the song. So thank you so much, guys, for uh, coming back. I know you already have the answers. You have shared, ya compartido. And now it's time for us to, as a class, let's check it, okay? Uh, do I have volunteers to read number one and to give us the answer? Please. Meet the chat. Thank you so much. No. It is good to know the cash flow. They are so important. Okay. We have the first opinion. They are so important. Okay. Agree or disagree, class? I agree, teacher. So, we have agree. Agree. Okay. We have two agrees. And then normas, and that is correct. Thank you so much. What about number two? Anybody else, please? The architect is such a creative woman. Okay, good. We have the architect is such a creative woman. Agree or disagree? Guys? Sorry. Sorry. Agree. Agree, okay. Agree. Agree. Okay. I agree too. What about number three? Anybody else? Any other volunteer? Number three. Wireless internet access is so convenient. Okay. So we have so convenient. What do you think, guys? Agree or disagree that wireless internet access is so convenient? Number three? Agree. Okay, nice. What about number four? Let's see, volunteers to read it, please, and give us the answer. Me. Thank you. All the invention we create are so popular. So, so popular. Such? Okay. Do you agree or disagree with that? That is such popular? Disagree. 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 What's the answer? Popular is an adjective. Therefore, we say so, so, popular. so popular. It doesn't take a noun here. Let's make that correction. And Cristina, ayúdenme a pronunciar esta palabra, please. Mm -hmm. Can you see the screen? What I'm doing here? I'm drawing an arrow. Do you see it? You see it? No? Do you see what I'm doing here? Create. Say it again, please. Create. Create is the present. How do you say the past? Create. Create. Si decimos que create es el presente, una pregunta, Cristina, ¿cuál es el sonido final de ese, de ese verbo? ¿En past o en...? En presente, present. Great. ¿Cuál es el sonido final que está, que está haciendo? Sí. Sí, exacto. Entonces, ¿cómo decimos el pasado? Great. No. Cuando, 
Cuando un verbo termina con t, con t en su forma base, cuando le ponemos el pasado, ¿qué, hace, qué pasa con esos verbos? Is um, this? Pronuncialo. Can I, can I listen to it? Credit. Credit. Uh -huh. Ok, más o menos por ahí va. Olvidemos, yeah. lo, uh, recordemos, perdón, que siempre le ponemos en la sílaba adicional. Created, 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 cre cre created, created. Porque el verbo termina con, con t, al, el, la forma base. Create, presente, create, create. El pasado, created, created. Yo creé, I created, you created, she created, it, 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 okay? That's important. Let's continue. Solo era un paréntesis, Cristina, okay? Thank you for helping me out to clarify this. Let's continue. Next one, number five, Rafa. Thank you so much, Rafa. Okay. The computer was such a significant invention. Such a significant invention. Okay, I agree with you. Let's move on. Number six. Next one. Number six. Any volunteer? What number six? Checking your financial statement was uh, difficult more before. Okay, now it's easy, right? <laughs> now it's easy. Yeah, you access, you know, your account online, you check your statement, you receive it by email and so on and so forth. Yes, that's correct. That's the answer, guys. We have the answers on the chat. I just send them to you. So thank you so you can confirm. Thank you so much for your opinions, guys. Any question? Alguna opinión de pronunciación, vocabulario, structure? Uh, where is teacher? Uh, where is Wireless. 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 Oh, wireless internet. Wireless. wireless means that it's not connected to any any cord, any cable. It's wireless, like uh, mobile service, not connected, like like Wi-Fi. Wireless. Wireless right. means that it's not connected to something like cables. It's not residential services. Wireless is more like mobile service, como un servicio más inalámbrico. That's what it is. Wireless internet access. So the wireless connection is like when you have the, the connection you have on your device, on your phone. Okay, that's the wireless connectivity, like Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Any other question that you want to ask, guys, or you want to double check in pronunciation? No? Okay, antes de hacer la actividad que tenemos aquí, que la verdad que está bien chiva, es really cool, quiero que ustedes me creen dos ejemplos de cada estructura, okay, para revisar que si estamos en la misma página. Personal things, hablemos de cosas personales, okay? Um, veamos, primero me van a mandar todos una, una oración con so, usando so, y luego me van a mandar otras dos oraciones, dos y dos, con such, ok, en el chat, please, take some time, o si no quiere escribirlas en el chat, en su cuaderno, y luego nos las muestra, ok, voy a, voy a dejar de compartir, ok, so we can see it, two and two, ok, go, take five minutes, personal things or whatever you want to write or about write about Okay, Linda. Yeah, that's a good one. My platform. Platform. Le quitemos la, la segunda. My platform is so friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. We have one. We have one here. One sample. This platform is so friendly. What else do you want to share?
save money is so necessary. The clan is so funny. Yeah, I like. Vamos a estudiar, Daniel, este, el uso de los germs. Y ahí se va, ahí va, se va a dar cuenta este, la observación que le voy a hacer en este momento. Eh, para comenzar con una oración, es, no es común iniciar con el verbo en su forma base. Podemos usar el, eh, el verbo como eh, ING, como subject. Entonces ahí sería, saving money is so necessary. O sea que cuando vamos a poner el verbo al inicio de una oración, siempre va a ir con ING. Lo usamos saving money. Okay? Eso es por regla. Así que, let's make that correction. Ya lo vamos a hacer. De hecho, el tema que, que viene, creo que hay parte de esto. Okay? Saving money is so necessary. The clown is so funny. Yes. I want to see more examples. The car is so... Have a car is so necessary. Mm -hmm. Lo mismo, Cristina. Having a car. Having a car. Porque es un verbo. Having a car is so necessary. Having a car. Paying the bill is so important. No se preocupe, don't worry, Jose Miguel. Be careful, be careful, be careful. I know, I, I see you're driving, so watch out, watch out. There's, había un comercial que es de, de AT&T que decía, he can't wait, puede esperar. No, don't text while you're driving. Don't text while you're driving. It's, it's very, very um, dangerous and risky. Así que don't worry. Thank you for the message. By the way, Jose, let's keep, let's keep going. Hagamos las correcciones, Daniel and Cristina. Let's, let's uh, use a uh, general form because that would be the best one. Okay, so what else? Mm -hmm. Any other, please? Elsie, quiero leer un suyo, Narciso, Rey, y los que nos han mandado, María Julia, Xiomara. Raquel, Marvin, hoy oh, si sí, tienen un montón, Elsis, uh, that's so cute, Xiomara, that's so sweet, my dad is so sweet, that's so, so, so cool, tonight is so rainy, uh -huh. this bed is so comfortable, yes, correct, having the car is so, having a car is so necessary, yes, I am so, <laughs> I'm so tired now, okay? It's Friday, okay? Saving money, it's so necessary. The clown is so funny. Paying the bill is so important. Yes. You see, that's what, what, that's what I'm talking about. I like it. I like it. Veamos, guys, tomémonos unos dos minutos más y creemos. Um, let's create one with uh, such. I mean, two with such. Y si pueden poner plurales, it'll be great. Okay, so that's you. Having a budget is so important. Exactly, Raquel. I agree with you. That is so important. Okay, let's talk about such. Saving for the future, it's so convenient. Yes, I agree with that as well. Saving money, you never know what's gonna happen, right? Yeah, I agree with that example. Yes, okay, so let's now talk about such. Veamos que tenemos de such en ese contexto. Estamos usándolo the same way as so, like to intensive, to uh, like, like an intensifier of, of, an, of something. It is such important program. Somos solo un programa, le vamos a poner a. Ah, it is such a, an important, aquí le pondríamos such an important program. Such an important, because it's only one. But if it is plural, then we don't say ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank okay. You. Great. What else, guys? What else? Send me your examples. Okay. Send me your examples. What do you have for us? Please share. Mm 
statements. Okay, we have more. Norma, she is such a nice person. The puppy are such small. Mm. Puppies, if it is plural, yes. But if it is only one, is. Is such a small, you're missing something. The puppy is such is a such small animal or pet. You can say that. Necesitamos el noun ahí. Is such a good movie. Eso está bien. Papis, entonces, yes. Uh, my country is very cold. Tenemos el narciso con so y luego tenemos she's such, such she's beautiful and such intelligent. Mm -hmm. El such está utilizado, um, quizás so quiso poner, ¿verdad, narciso? So intelligent, porque ahí such no solo le puso un adjetivo, necesitaríamos el noun, faltaría el noun. Ok. Give me your examples, please. Come on, come on. Go ahead, send your examples. Algunos no han mandado. Hmm. Give me your examples. Give you one more minute. Okay, what other ideas do you have? One more minute, if you haven't shared, please, Elsie. What about such? <laughs> such. La verdad hay que usar such, es bien chivo. Eh, da una, un énfasis a la, a, la, a la idea interesante. It is, puedo ser en pasado también, puede ser en pasado. Puede ser en futuro. Por ejemplo, fue una, 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 fue una experiencia inolvidable, pero quieren hacerle ese énfasis. It was such, an, such a nice experience. It was. Es pasado. O sea que lo puedo usar en presente, puedo usarlo en futuro. Solo tengo que saber usar el, el auxiliar correspondiente. Por ejemplo, um, Uh, estoy seguro que será una experiencia inolvidable. O sea, I am sure it will be such a wonderful experience. You know, I'm using the tense. It doesn't matter if it is present or past. Siempre se puede utilizar. Por si usted quiere ampliar el conocimiento en esa área, solo haga el cambio en los verbos que van antes que dan la, la pauta si es presente o es futuro. Veamos, ¿alguien se anima a crear uno en pasado o en futuro? Ya ustedes tienen una idea de cómo se formula eso. My country, veamos, my job is, is so important. Such a... Mm, something is missing there. My job is so important. Such a life. Mm, Rafa, something is missing there. My job is, is, is important. Such... Ah, ya entendí. Such as my... Ah, pero ahí estamos usando such... En otro contexto, y falta la S. Después de la A. Ese es otro. Such tiene varios usos. En ese caso, estamos usándolo como un intensificador. ¿verdad? Por eso hay que respetar la estructura. Ahí, ahí algo falta, Rafa. Let's think about it. ¿Ok? Vea la estructura. If you use such, we use adjective and a noun. El noun is mandatory because it's part of the structure. Uh -huh. El sustantivo es necesario ahí. Y, y sí puso life, pero le faltó el adjective. Por, podría, podría decir, my job is important. Uh, o oh, my job is such. And. Y luego así, vamos a describir el job. Así que por eso que el life no conecta. Let's think about the idea. Well, uh, anybody else? Anybody else who would like to share? Alguien más, guys? Okay. Well, if you share, I will be reading it. 
Uh, we're going to work on the next activity. Uh, vamos a hacer esta, esta, esta actividad. It's such a creative, it is such a creative class. Después del adjetivo, Marvin, solo ponemos el noun. The class, el da, hay que quitarlo. It is such a creative class. That's it. Hasta ahí nos queda. Ok, uh, bueno. Vamos a trabajar en esta. We're going to work on this activity. Miren. Uh, talk to a friend about a financial statement you pay attention the most. Pensemos, si no tiene ningún financial statement que le presta mucha atención, um, tratemos de simular o, o pretend, de, pretend that you have one. Pretend que tienen un statement y then reasons, okay, why it's important for companies and you, uh, and you to take care about them. Más que todo van a hablar qué tan importante es esto de los financial statements, pero más que todo estar ahí como, what, attentive, atentos about this. Entonces, uh, you can maybe um, set a, a conversation, yes, or you can simply start talking about reasons, posibles razones, porque es importante cuidar de un, del financial statement en la compañía. Pues veamos eh, cómo creamos una conversación. Eh, it can be in groups of three, para que por si alguien se desconecta, queden dos para, para seguir practicando. Creo que están bien poco conectados y creo que es problema de la lluvia, quizá. Aquí en mi town está raining todavía. Ok, so, ¿tienen alguna pregunta antes de move on, before we move on? No, la idea es talk, la idea es hablar, trate de traer, formular sus ideas and then give reasons, ok? Bueno, voy a leer el último ejemplo. He is such a nice person for you. My party is, my party such is a good, mm, la primera está bien, la segunda habría que revisarla. My party is, le voy a hacer una sugerencia con my party, podría ser my party is Such a good event. Vamos a poner un sustantivo. Es un event. My party is such a good event. Podría ser de esa manera, ¿ok? Bueno, si vamos a hacer la... We're going to make this practice. Hay un par, ya creo que se han conectado un par. Habían 17, ahorita nos estamos 15. Wow. This. And here we go. We're going to make... Um, we're going to recreate the groups. Van a caer de three, van a caer de two, y luego empezamos a compartir, ¿ok? Here we go. Es una conversación. Taking into account these ideas. All right. So here we go. JC, ¿con quién lo ponemos, JC? Elija a alguien, vaya, porque como se quedó aquí, ¿quién le vamos a asignar? No, ¿Con quién quiere me trabajar? Sacó. <ríe> me ¿Con sacó. Quién? Sí, ¿con quién quiere trabajar? Elija a alguien. ¿Con el que quiera, teacher? Ahí no veo a nadie, ahorita estoy solito. Sí, está aquí lo han dejado solito, pero dígame, va a elevar opciones. Uh, Cristina, Gerson, Linda, Norma, Daniel. Con Cristina, Cristina o Norma. Vaya, Cristina, vaya. Ahí vamos. Cristina está en el room number two. Ahí vamos.
sus empleados. ¿Verdad? Igual que uno, pues, uno debe, de, como dice el teacher, pues debe de tener ahí su, su, su presupuesto de sus ingresos, sus gastos, ¿verdad? Hacer así como algo, como un cash flow, ¿verdad? Okay. De las entradas y, uh -huh. de las entradas y salidas que uno tiene. En base a eso, pues, en base a los ingresos, pues, así va van a hacer la salida, pues, lógicamente. Ok. ¿Qué dice usted, Elsie? Eso, precisamente, o sea que... O sea que... Si uno no hace un presupuesto, obviamente va a gastar más de lo que no tiene, por decirlo así, como yo le estaba diciendo al teacher hace rato, o sea... Que... Si yo no hago mi presupuesto en el mes, porque yo siempre lo hago, eh, al final termino gastando más o yo sé cuánto es lo que yo puedo gastar diario. Y para no tocar mis ahorros, porque cada vez que voy al cajero es como que si saco, por decirlo así, 50 dólares, cuando solo en realidad necesito 20, al final en un día o en una hora me... Hello, Xiomara. Se me reinició, estaba con Crispy. Ahí te la vamos a asignar. La vamos a asignar. Con Crispy estaba. Bueno. Ok, gracias. Bueno. Hello, aquí venimos de regreso. <risa> Hello. Hello, Xiomara. Hello. La vamos a ver asignar. A mí me está fallando el Inter porque aquí sí. está lloviendo algo fuerte. Sí, no se preocupe, aquí vamos de regreso. Ok.
the last year. Así como hacen las, las comparaciones, pues, que tanto me dio y bajaron. Ajá. Si comparamos Ajá. el año pasado con este año, estamos mejor este año. Ajá, como un comparativo en Ajá. ganancias o, o pérdidas. Pues de, de profit, profits, no sé. Sí, sí. Que son los beneficios o pérdidas, que sería. Quiero ver cómo se escribe. Pérdidas. Teacher. Tell Question. me. Uh -huh. How do you say pérdidas? Pérdidas se puede decir loss. Ajá, loss. No. Solo sería... No, uh, perdido. No, pero es así, mira, se lo voy a mandar. Loss, el L-O-S-S, -S, loss. A diferencia de que es dos S, esas son pérdidas. Sería o financial loss o... Financial loss, loss. ajá, financial loss. Thank you. Uh -huh. No. Entonces, sería para ver beneficios o pérdidas financieras, ¿verdad? Profits o financial loss. Ah, si crees la, la, la practicamos. Ok. Hello, Julie. Ah, no, ah, sí, sí, comienzas tú. Ajá, dale, dale. Hello, Dani, how are you? Uh, hello, Julie, nice, and you? Hello, Narciso, solito estaba aquí, man, y voy a querer hacer. <risa> ¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Narciso. Hola. Su micrófono, Narciso. Hola, hola, teacher. Hello, ¿Con quién? Teacher. ¿Con quién estaba Elsie, trabajando? Elsie y Marvin estaba, pero Vaya. se me desconectó la máquina. Vaya, Elsie, aquí la vamos a asignar una vez más. Ahí va.
Do you need some help? ¿Necesitan alguna ayuda? No, piche. Bien, calladito. Están. Sí. <risa> vaya, vaya, vaya. Ok, ok. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Ok, ok. Are you Finish. set? Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, um, voy a hacer algo. Los voy a unir a otro grupo solo para que vayan a escuchar. Okay, porque okay. algunos están todavía, van apenas formando ideas. Okay, y ustedes no, ya no. terminaron. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good, good. Erson, did you finish? Jose, did you finish? Hi, teacher. Solo medio hicimos porque Jose is writing. Oh, sí, right. Vaya, está bien. Pero ya tienen la idea principal. Eh, hablar sobre los estados financieros de las empresas, dos razones importantes y para nosotros, uh -huh. algo así. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sí, uh -huh. poquito nada más, pero... <laughs> ok. <laughs> Bueno, no problema, ok, ya, ya, ya lo voy a llamar, no problema, no problema, ya lo voy a llamar, sí que algunos aún siguen trabajando, ok, good, okay. all right. Bueno. Xiomara, ¿qué tal Xiomara? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, no sé qué le pasa a mi conexión, Tiche. Está loco, está laptop, está tablet. Mm, ok, no problem. Ok, people are coming, ya que sus compañeros vienen. Y pues no sé si lograron terminar sus ideas. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. 
do it, but it's okay. Okay, did you finish? I know some of you did. Terminaron? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Todos, everybody finished? <laughs> okay, nice, Elsie. Thank you so much for confirming, okay? Um, well, it's okay, and it's really nice because it's a time in which you have to create your ideas to explain something. Es un momento para crear sus ideas para explicar algo. Eso es el reto. Ahora qué digo y cómo lo voy a decir, qué estructura tengo que utilizar. Yo creo que esa parte es el reto y pues es interesante hacerlo de esa manera. Guys, um, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a compartir esas ideas mañana. Así que le van a dar un toquecito y you're going to brush it up for mañana. Tomorrow is Saturday. Es como ayer yo me di el break, ¿verdad? Estoy creyendo. No, I, I, I apologize. Pero teacher. I, I apologize porque I was very frustrated. Honestly, I was frustrated. I was, I was expecting, aquí, aquí estaba, aquí sentado, aquí. So, is it going to be like this for all? Y nunca regresó. No había electricity, no había internet, nothing at all. Mire, teacher. Ahí está la prueba, mire. A las, ahí cabe. A las, quiero ver, a las 20.58 estábamos 14 personas conectadas, mire. Ahí está no, la prueba. No veo nada. No, 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 no veo nada. No, ahí no veo nada. Ahí va a quedar. I don't see anything. Okay. La, la va a desquitar y no va a decir nada. Así como nos estamos cayendo. I don't see anything. I'm sorry. Ok. Y la clase se va a extender hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? I am blind. Algo que aprendí en contabilidad es que debemos de tener pruebas. Ok. Ok, eh. nice. Craig. Great, great, great guess, Cristina. Great guess. En, en serio, en serio. Okay, I'm gonna check the attendance, okay? The attendance. This is the last part of today's class. It's Friday, guys. Por ejemplo, lo voy a dejar temprano porque es Friday. Okay. Mañana tengo que ir a trabajar. Yeah, okay. It's part of life. Okay. Yes. Tempranilla. Okay. Two minutes. I'm missing. Hold on. Give me a second. We have two minutes for these. Um, and then um, let's see Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you. Christina. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Elsie. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriela. No. No, I'm in the playa. <laughs> okay. At the beach. Next one, Cristina, dijimos después Gabriela, Muy Gerson. Bien. Present. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Sí. And then Ruben. No. Ruben is chilling. Uh, JC. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Idalia. No. Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Marlene and Nicole at the beach. Uh, Marvin Omar. Present Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Hey, Rafa. Here. And Raquel, Judith. Present. Thank you, Ray. Xiomara. Present. Thank you, and Judy Lisette. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your weekend and try to rest and study English on your weekend. Have a nice night and see you on Monday. Okay, good night, everyone. Good night, good night everyone. Good night, good night. Good night everyone. Good night. You too.